How to use a clothes steamer. A clothes steamer is a must-have if you have delicates that can't be ironed or don't like to iron clothes. Steam penetrates the fabric, relaxing fibers and smoothing out wrinkles while also removing odors, dust, and bacteria, making it fresher and cleaner. A steamer is a fast, easy-to-use appliance for removing wrinkles from furniture slipcovers, upholstery, and drapes. Steamers work by heating water until it becomes steam. The steam is then applied to clothing through a nozzle, relaxing the fabric's fibers and eliminating wrinkles. Although they are not as commonly used as traditional irons, clothing steamers are a quick and easy way to get the wrinkles out of many different types of fabrics. After you choose what type of steamer is best for you and learn a few steaming tricks, you'll be steaming your own clothes in no time. Welcome to Best Choices. This video will tell you how to knowing when to use a steamer, steaming your clothes and choosing a steamer. Now let's talk about the process. Method 1. Knowing when to use a steamer. Number 1. Learn which fabrics can be steamed and which ones cannot. Steamers work wonderfully for most fabrics, as steaming is a delicate method of de-wrinkling. Fabrics that can be steamed include most cottons, silks, wools, and polyesters. However, some fabrics should not be steamed. These fabrics include wax jackets, suede, or materials that may melt, such as plastic. If you're unsure if your fabric can be steamed, carefully test the steamer on a small corner of the fabric before using it on the entire garment. Always check fabric care labels for advice prior to steaming. Number 2. Be careful when steaming delicate fabrics. Fabrics made from silk, chiffon, sheer, or velvet should be treated with care. Keep a few inches of distance between the steamer and the fabric, and don't steam in one place of fabric for too long. To avoid damaging embellishments or prints, steam the garment inside out to get rid of the wrinkles. Number 3. Use a steamer instead of an iron to de-wrinkle a larger variety of clothing. Irons and steamers are both meant to take the wrinkles out of clothing, though they each have their own perks. Irons are typically best on less delicate fabrics, like cotton or denim, and are ideal for pressing creases into clothing. Steamers work on a larger variety of fabrics, as they are less likely to damage fabrics. Steamers are typically used on fabric while it is hanging, so they don't work well if you want to press or crease your clothing. Steamers are more portable than irons, so they are ideal for those who travel a lot. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Steaming your clothes. Number 1. Prepare the steamer for use. Pour cold water into the water tank of your clothing steamer. Make sure that all of the parts of the steamer are secured properly, you don't want to leak water all over the place. Plug the steamer in. Steamers usually heat up fairly quickly, 2-3 to three minutes. Allow your steamer to heat until steam begins to form. Be sure to let your steamer warm up all of the way to get the best results. Make sure it is steaming nicely before you use it. You can check how well it is steaming by pulling the trigger on the handle slash pressing the button and seeing how much steam issues when you release it. This is the same button you will use while steaming your clothes. Number 2. Hang the garment you wish to steam. It's easiest to steam a garment when it is hanging. Upright steamers typically have a hanging pole attached. If you're using a handheld steamer, hang your garment on a hanger and place it on a shower rod, the back of a chair, a doorknob, or anything of that nature. Number 3. Steam your garment by running the steamer in downward strokes along the fabric. You don't need to press hard or push the fabric against anything, the steam will gently remove the wrinkles on its own. As you slide the steamer down your garment, press the steam button every so often to apply steam to the fabric. You have the option to use a handheld pad as surface to steam your clothes on, though it is not necessary. It may be helpful when you are steaming extremely dense or wrinkly fabrics. If you decide to use a pad, slip it over one hand and use your other hand to hold the steamer. With extremely wrinkly clothing, you should steam from the inside of the garment or underneath the garment. The weight of the fabric against the steam will help to get the wrinkles out more quickly. When steaming fabrics with embellishments such as pleats, ruffles, etc., hold the steamer at a distance of 1 to 2 inches from the fabric. This will allow the fabric to keep its shape while the steam de-wrinkles it. If the garment is extremely wrinkled, you can also turn the garment inside out to steam the fabric without damaging the embellishments. 
Number 4. Let your garment dry. After a fresh steaming, your garment will feel damp. There may also be some small water spots. Do not be alarmed, this is completely normal and your garment will dry. Let the garment sit for 5 to 10 minutes after steaming it before you put it on or hang it in your closet. This will give the garment ample time to dry. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Choosing a steamer. Number 1. Decide how you will primarily use your steamer. Are you looking for a steamer that will stay in your laundry room, or are you looking for a steamer to carry around with you? Some steamers are easier to transport than others, and some take up more space than others. Some steamers are handheld, others stand upright. Number 2. Use an upright steamer. Upright steamer are sometimes referred to as floor steamers, as their base sits on the floor. These steamers typically include a base where the water tank sits, a hose attached to a nozzle, and a pole with a clothing hanger at the top. These steamers typically sit on wheels so that they can be moved more easily. If you plan on keeping your steamer in one location, upright steamers are the ideal choice. They are larger than other steamers, but are very convenient because of their features, the clothing hanger, nozzle, etc. However, they can be transported if you don't mind moving something that's a bit larger. These steamers are ideal if you are steaming numerous pieces of clothing. Their water base is large and usually won't need to be refilled. Most upright steamers come with attachments, such as different types of brushes for different kinds of fabrics. Upright steamers are typically the most expensive of all steamers, ranging from $50 to $200. Number 3. Use a handheld steamer if you want something more portable. These steamers are much smaller than upright steamers, and can be easily packed in luggage or kept in the car. If you tend to need a steamer while traveling, a handheld steamer would be the ideal choice. Handheld steamers combine the water tank and nozzle into one device. They typically weigh a couple pounds. Some handheld steamers come with attachments, like different nozzles and lint rollers. Some steamers come with a small padded square with a strap that slips over your hand, similar to a large oven mitt. This pad can be helpful when you're steaming your clothing, as it can prevent you from burning your hands. Handheld steamers typically range in price from $30 to $100. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Tips 1. Always read the fabric care label before steaming, most cotton, silk, wool, polyester, and nylon fabrics should be steamer safe. 2. If unsure about using a steamer on a particular material, test the steam on an inconspicuous spot to make sure. 3. To remove problem wrinkles, steam clothes inside out for more wrinkle-busting power. 4. Steamers can burn if you're not careful, some come with mitts to protect your skin from potential burns. 5. If your model comes with nozzles or brushes, use them as recommended for the fabric you're steaming. 6. An item you steam may remain moist for a few minutes, expect it will need at least 10 minutes of drying time before wearing it. Warnings 1. Steam is extremely hot. Be careful not to put steam on your hands, as you will burn your skin. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.